Parramatta Reels take it on the Cronulla Sharks. It is going to be an absolute blockbuster. It's the kick off Friday night football. Baxter, I'll throw it to you. It's the Parramatta Reels squad. There's not many changes. Take it away. Yeah, we've got Clint Gutherson in the fullback role. We've got Marcus Seva and Sean Russell making his year-long return to the wing role. Will Panettini and Waka Blake into the centre role. We've got Dylan Brown and Mitch Moses in the halves pairing. RCG and Junior Paulo in the front row position with the English baldy Josh Hudson in the hooker role. Um, Bryce Cara, you're one of your good uh, good friends as well. Matt Dory in the second row position with Jermaine Hop God uh, nicknaming him around the grounds in the lo- uh, in the uh, lock position. Yeah, I was correct. Um, you got JM in the fourteen role. We have got Jack Jack Murchie in the fifteen. W uh, Greggy, oh, mate, I'm sorry. In the sixteen role and MM in the seventeen with the Arthur Sun into the 18th reserve position. Now, you said it was an unnamed change side, which it is. Um, look, if they continue to do what they did last week and follow and stick to the game plan and the objective set out by Brad Arthur and keep those passes a little bit more crisp, make uh, making sure the game plan is on and uh, sort of the game plan is executed correctly um, not a little bit sloppy like last week. Uh, I could see this side really tearing Sharks, a new new one. But what are your thoughts on this squad? Well, like we said, it is almost unchanged. Obviously, your good mate Sean Russell does come into the lineup. So that is the major change. It's not expected that any more players may change in that starting lineup. But obviously, Bailey Simonson is named in the reserves. If he is fit, if his shoulder is okay, we might see a little bit of shake-up on the bench. But I look at this side, you've got the power and explosion of Clint Gufferson, the massive fucking frame of Micah Sivo. You've got Sean Russell, who we saw before he got injured, can find the try line. Dylan Brown, who's growing game after game. Mitchell Moses, he made a very good comment the other day where someone said to him, mate, what are you doing with your contract? He said, that's what my agent's for. I'm here to play football. So if Moses can just play football, lead this team around the pack, give it to Dylan Brown when he needs to. I think they can go a long way. Hodgson, he's looking quite solid. The Cardi Party, like you said, a good mate of one of my my mate's brothers, um, Jermaine Hopgod, that you stole my nickname. But thank you very much, Jermaine Hopgood. Hey, hey, I'm just hearing the mail out of Parramatta Hills, and that's just all I'm reporting on. That's uh, He's just a god. I mean, obviously, when Jake Arthur is at 18th man, as long as no two concussions happen, he's away from the field. So it's happy days if you were a Parramatta fan. But I think, obviously, last year we spoke a fair bit about how we thought last year was this team's premiership window. Now, I'm looking at this squad. It's a good squad on paper. They've still got their halves. They've still got that back five intact. Maybe, just maybe, if they can get a bit of a steamroll going, they might have another crack at it this year and hope to go one step further. But bringing up the team they are playing, it is the Cronulla Sharks, the Nico Heinless Cronulla Sharks, William Kennedy, Sione Katoa, Jesse Ramian, CSI Talakai, Ronaldo Militano, Matt Moylan, Braden Trindle, Toby Rudolph, Blake Braley, Braden Hamlin, Hamlin Ueli, Britton Lacora, Teague Wilton, Dale Finucane, Cameron McInnes, Royce Hunt, Oregon Kafusi, Connor Tracy, and the 18th man is Thomas Hazelton. Now, this Cronulla Sharks side, I think they take a lot of, a lot of, I guess, excitement away from last week. Now, I think that sounds silly saying it after a loss, but they went into a team they seen as a very big premiership threat in the Rabbits. They did it without Nico Hines. And until the last 10, 15 minutes, they were toe and toe, half time, toe and toe. They lost in the end. I think if you chuck in that little, a little bit of brilliance from Nico Hines, a Daly M winner from last year. I think he can really turn this team back into that premiership threat that we all think they could potentially be this year. But what do you make of this squad? And then chuck me a prediction and we'll move on to the late game on Friday night. Yeah, it's really a, a sort of an unchanged squad. Uh, two of their players received early guilty plea fines. Um, Wade Graham, as we've touched on in the review, 
Um, took it to the uh, judiciary and lost, so he got four matches instead of three. I mean, he tried to explain himself that he had total control in that tackle, which, looking at replay, he's, uh, his feet leave the ground, and, mate, as soon as you do that, you've got no control. So, unfortunately, he sits on the sidelines for four weeks, coming back in round five. Um, look, apart from all that, this is a good side on paper, with their coach, Craig Fitzgibbon. He will have them ripping a new one at training. Um, the game plan won't really change as much. I think they'll stick to their guns and they'll come out full guns blazing. But if I was a betting man, which I ain't, I'm going to pick Parramatta Eels 1-12. to If you are a betting man, please, please, please gamble responsibly. Um, I mean, if you didn't listen to my tip last, last week, that was my value bet. I'm probably not going to get one right for a few weeks, so don't listen to me on the podcast when I do say things. But obviously after the South Sydney game, if Latrell plays, we are even. So this could decide it. I'm going Parramatta 13+. plus. I think they're going to have enough talent at home. They've just come off the back of the storm. You chuck Sean Russell in there, who's a massive threat. Moses has said, I'm ready to focus. I think they get the job done, and I'm going to go 13+. plus. But 